Caleb Williams and USC lost to Utah this past Saturday, giving them two losses, which if history is our teacher means USC is probably not making the college football playoff. So social media is a great thing. We love social media. We use social media here on this channel as well. I JD Pacal on Twitter and on Instagram. But some people, one person specifically, took to the Twitter sphere and said that Caleb Williams should sit out the rest of the season. We got our thoughts on this before we get there. Make sure you subscribe right here to the On3 YouTube channel. College football every single day live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern. There's no agendas. There's no hot takes like the one we're about to talk about right here on this show. Just ball and only ball. You love Saturdays in the fall. We love Saturdays in the fall. So we're going to talk about them in a celebratory way. All right. So to get into this, the thing said was, again, I'll repeat this, Caleb Williams should sit out the rest of the season because the risk of playing outweighs the potential reward of him being the number one overall draft pick in the NFL. And the reasons cited were, well, the Heisman is a long shot, not untrue. College football playoff is very unlikely, not untrue. The issue I have with this statement, there's a number of issues I have with this statement, but let's just kind of take this thing at face value because it'd be easy to just dismiss it and say, well, this is ridiculous I mean there, there's a number of things just morally and like from a teammate perspective you probably would consider but let's take this thing at face value and say okay let's say that that's true let's say that the, the truth is that there is more risk baked into this whole situation and it could potentially impact his NFL draft stock and all that like let's, let's say the reward of playing this season is not as great as him being the number one overall NFL draft pick the issue I have with that is this statement is made under the assumption that Caleb Williams has the priority that it is end-all, be-all to be the number one NFL draft pick. And that is the only thing that matters to him. Everything else is simply secondary at best and doesn't matter to him. Like, we're, we're pretending we know where Caleb Williams is at from a priority standpoint. Saying he has nothing left to play for because he's not winning the Heisman and not making the college football playoff. Are we sure we want to go down that rabbit hole? Are we sure we want to unpack that? I mean, we will just because of what we're going to do on this channel right now. To say Caleb Williams has nothing left to play for is just ridiculous. Just because it's not the Heisman, not the, not the college football playoff, just ridiculous. What about the conference title? USC only have one conference loss. I promise you they will be in the mix at the end of this thing if they were to win out. That's something to play for. I promise you that was one of their preseason goals at USC to start the season. Both Caleb Williams and his teammates, you have your teammates left to play for. Guys that you've gone to war with for the last two years. Guys that you strap it up with every single Saturday. There's some capital built in there, I would imagine, relationally. That's something to play for. Still have your legacy to play for. I mean, do you really want to be remembered as the guy that won the Heisman Trophy the year before? got to week nine of the college football season. And after your second loss in week eight, decided, you know what? I'm good. Think about how USC's legacy of Caleb Williams would be. Th think about how he would be remembered in Los Angeles should that be the way that he went about this thing. Nothing to play for. There's a lot to play for, in my opinion. Like the Heisman Trophy and the college football playoff obviously those were huge goals at the beginning of the year I promise you Caleb Williams more than likely had both those at the top of his goals list when it came to what he wanted to do this season and the conversation is going to be well that's that's all great but JD he could make millions of dollars I have a hard time believing one that Caleb Williams isn't already making millions of dollars second part of that is all the things that I just named all the things that I just addressed those things are priceless and that sounds cliche. It sounds sort of cringy to say that you can't put a price on those things. But I think that's 100% true. Like in 20 years from now, if Caleb Williams were to walk away from his team after their second loss, let's call it what it is. If Caleb Williams were to quit on his team for the purpose of the NFL draft, I think he'd regret it. I don't think that'd be something he'd look back and say, yep, that was a good decision for the reasons I just mentioned. Now, the other assumption with this statement is that Caleb Williams not playing the rest of the season is going to help his NFL draft stock. One, his NFL draft stock doesn't need any help. He could have not played this entire season and still been the number one pick in my estimation. 
Second part of that is if you quit on your team, and I'm going to say it again, that's what it would be if he doesn't play the rest of the year, like this individual is suggesting erroneously. If he doesn't play the rest of the year and quits on his team, that'd be a question that I have as as an NFL GM. Like, I would ask that every single time I sit down with Caleb Williams. I'd want to get to the bottom of it and say, well, why did you not finish the season? Yeah, you lost two games. Going got tough. So what, you wanted to stop because of this whole opportunity? And that this was framed as a business decision. And I get where you're coming from, but there's so much more we got to factor into this thing. There's so much more that comes with this conversation than just the NFL and being the number one overall pick. Like, it's, it's not black and white. In a vacuum... I see where you're coming from, but we're not living life in a vacuum. We're living it in the real world. Other thing I would say, when it comes to the percent chance of getting hurt the rest of the way for Caleb Williams, because that's the thing people are going to talk about now. Is there a chance he gets hurt playing football the rest of the season? Yes. Was there a chance he would get hurt playing football game one of this season? 100%. So if being the number one overall pick and maximal health for the NFL was the end-all, be-all, and there was no other priorities, why even play at all? Why even play game one? Like, if if that's truly all that matters, why even play the first game? Statistically, I would say it is more likely for someone to get hurt playing football, playing college football at a very, very high level, like Caleb Williams does, than your team won a national championship. And USC, to be honest, at the beginning of the year, we had him in our college football playoff. We, we considered USC to be a national title contender. But the number of hits you get exposed to, it just takes one. It just takes one. That's it. And then you're injured. And then, and then things change for you physically. Like, there's a risk baked into playing this game at all if you're Caleb Williams. And so, one, I want to go ahead and say, I don't think the person saying this even believes this statement. And it's confusing because the person saying this statement was in NFL locker rooms, I believe. And at the very least, they were in college locker rooms. Like, I, I, I feel like it's not even something they truly wholeheartedly buy into. When the going gets tough, you don't quit. That's not what sports is. That's not what football is. I don't think that's what Caleb Williams is about. I think he's going to, one, finish the rest of the season. Surprise, surprise. Two, I think he's probably going to get asked about this. And I think he's going to fly swat it. So, We'll see what happens when we get to that conversation around his thoughts on this whole topic of sitting out and all that. But like at the end of the day, man, like you don't abandon your guys, especially not as the quarterback. I understand the thought of, well, he can make millions of dollars. He's going to be NFL draft pick number one, like all that. I get it. But we're just assuming that nothing else matters outside of those things, the Heisman Trophy and the college football playoff. If that's all we're playing for, another conversation for another time. But again, business decision for Caleb Williams have a hard time getting behind this one so let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a minute of what we got going on right here on this channel also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Jody Paquel also on those channels let me know your thoughts are you are you are you thinking he should stop playing this season you know how we feel about it we're gonna keep this party rolling we will see y'all next time Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.